Hello guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time I'm doing an opening for the Transformers Hero Mashers Starscream. I've actually never tried the Hero Mashers. Uh, I was not into it because they were non-transforming figures that the whole gimmick is you swap out the parts and I didn't really care about the whole thing, but I'm gonna try it with Starscream. It was cheap, it was at a dollar store, so I figured why not. Let's go ahead and cut off the side or something. I completely forgot to bring out scissors, but we're gonna make it work. So let's pop off the side like so. And swing this out. And there is the star scream. It seems to just pop out like normal, like that. This backpack piece just kind of slides right off. You've got a leg thing in two separate parts and then you've got an arm with the null rays at the bottom because they suck and uh yeah this uh this feels a little weird it, it's not i don't want to call it rubbery but it's a very soft plastic and uh the joints are all right especially in the arms they're a little tight but they're fine uh the hips are a little tight too uh the knees are a little wobbly but uh yeah you're supposed to connect them with those orange joints i don't know if you could see that and they just connect in like like so and then of course you're supposed to swap around so if i want i can have starscream with the little leg as an arm if i want to be dumb uh you can also i'm pretty sure take these off oh no you can't okay can you take the heads off yes you can take the heads off uh let's go ahead and try and plug that back on Come on, Starscream. Doesn't really want to do it. Okay, I'll just attach the leg first. There we go. It's got better leverage on that. Let's see. I don't know why I can't attach. Okay, there we go. So there's the head. All right. So there's an armless Starscream. You could take the backpack, and it's got two different port weapon or weapon things. Two different ways of porting it. So I guess you could plug it that way or swap it around. Uh, of course, these do not transform, but if you want, you can pretty much just pop this entire thing off and pretend that that's a jet, if you like. I don't know. This still feels better than the power of the Prime Star Scream. And last but not least, we got that little weapon. Uh, so yeah, uh, a little weird in the legs. The legs look a little too small for this. I mean, look at that thing. Look at that head. I don't know why that's all loose and this one's fine. Uh, you can port stuff on this thing and, you know, some of the joints are okay. But it just seems very cheap. I can tell why these didn't really do so well. Yeah, this definitely feels better as a uh, dollar store toy. You know what this actually feels like? It feels like a better articulated, you know, the, the plasticky, rubbery Transformers that are at Walmart for a while? Yeah, it, it feels like that. Because I got the shockwave thing that the arms move, the waist moves, and the head moves, and that's it. Um, this pretty much feels like the same idea, except it actually does something. Uh, the figure by itself is not really entirely great because, well, the whole point is mashing them together. But, I mean, it doesn't transform, it doesn't really do anything else, so I totally see why this didn't really succeed. Also, it's kind of weird. This hand is connected together and doesn't seem like it could hold much, but this one is open. And it looks like that one's wider, so I don't really understand what's going on there. Uh, the head sculpt is fine. It's just very wide. And some of the joints feel a little off, too. Like, you can see that Starscream's head is a little off-center. I don't know how I feel about this line. It's weird. But, I mean, I just got one so that I can say I have one. So, with that out of the way, that is pretty much it. You know, don't know what else to say. I think you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes. And then we'll see you guys next time.